everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Neverending Fantasy for Zelda Classic Part 8. And today we're back on the Fiend's Island once again. Yeah, this is starting to become a second home, I know. Anyways, we're going back to this shop over here. Don't need the hookshot, we can just swim over now. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get the last of the three items. Want that level 2 bow for 250, Alex? I don't think they'd name a moblin Alex, but whatever. Alright, we got 652 rupees left. Eh, I'll be okay. By the time I get to the lens, I'll have 666, so I'm not too concerned. In fact, we'll get the last few rupees we need right here, in this grass. So let's cut it down. And then once we get that lens, we'll head straight to level 8. So we're looking pretty spiffy right now. All right, 666, we're exactly at that number. <laughs> Let's go get the lens. Actually, I'm gonna blow the whistle back to level seven now. Dee, 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 dee. Yep, face to the left and blow that whistle. Go, Tornado. Hey, it took us to the right place, good. Uh. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I'm just gonna swim, it'll be a little quicker than the raft. Maybe. Might be on par with the raft. <laughs> Anywho. Alright, devil, I want your lens. Give me it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And now I'm down to zero. But it's okay, we're gonna go right back up again. We got two rubies now. I just gotta farm enough rubies that I can use arrows. Alright, now with the level two bow and the lens in our hand, let's go find level eight and knock it out. Probably gonna consume the rest of the video. I would think. Oh wait, I gotta go in the water. I thought there was another raft path over there, but no, there isn't. So, a swimming we will go. Yeah, there's one screen way to the left over here we didn't check out. Dive under the water. Hey, it's an island with a Triforce symbol on it. Gee, I wonder what we have to do here. Let's get the whistle. And a staircase appears. City in the sky. Wait a minute, I think this is another Chrono Trigger tune. Maybe. I could be wrong. I haven't played Chrono Trigger, so I couldn't tell you, but I know the music and what it sounds like. Welcome to the city in the sky! We are the legendary founders of the land of Mystia. Surprise? Yes. When we first found Mystia, it was a beautiful land until one of our monks, Yarnok, learned of dimensional magic. It was then the legendary sages and the hero had sealed them, so they had to flood the land to keep Yarnok sealed. However, that seal is weakening, so go see the Elder. I will try. Let's go over here! It's a shop! Oh, fire boomerang, I want that, but I'm out of money. Ah! Oh well. I'll have to make do with it till after I clear level 8. And then before the next video is recorded, I'll have to, well, try to grind more money. Because I want that fire boomerang. Young one, take this book. Think of it as a gift for coming here. Well, we at least got a free magic book. I guess that's okay. But I want the fire boomerang still. Ugh. Need more monies. Welcome, lad. Feast on my vast knowledge. How about no? Let's continue right. And it looks like we need a key. And I guess we're gonna have to go up here to get it. Alright, who resides in this cave? If you're looking for the Elder, he went into the Temple of Power. A mysterious cloak figure broke the seal on the temple using one of the descendants of the sages he had captured. If the Elder isn't able to stop him from getting in, get to what's sealed in there, I fear the worst. And we clobbered that guy with the key. Alright, now we can get rid of that lock barricade. And what lies beyond, I have no clue. Hey, we got blue lionels. 
throwing three swords at me at a time. My goodness. Yeah, I want to stun these guys and then kill them. Go north. More blue winos. Yeah, I'm just going to mow them all down with the magic sword. Oh, damn. Couldn't get that spin attack through. Alright, there's the entrance to the tower. We'll see what's in there in a minute. Oh, level 8 right here. Temple of Power. Alright, here we go. What awaits? Oh, Super Dark Nuts. Eek! Alright, this music's familiar. I just forgot what game it's from. Yeah, I'm not even worried about the statue beams. They do piddly damage. Hey, we got the map. Holy poopigans! That's a huge dungeon. Yeah, I think it's going to consume the rest of this vid. Alright, to the right. Oh, oh boy. More trap dodging. Using the underwater. Alright, we got a compass. So we got the compass in the map right off the bat. That's rare. Alright, north we go. Alright, you're going to see the gimmick of this level very, very quickly. Jump into the portal. This looks familiar. It's the inside of level 1, but it's colored red. It's basically a gauntlet. It's like a... It's like a uh, mini dungeon gauntlet, if you will. Of each level. Now we got some Wizard bats here. Eek. This wasn't in the original level 1. Let me light the candle here. I gotta see what the hell I'm dealing with. Oh, blocks, right? Yeah, Wallmasters and Wizard Rope, bats abound. Damn you, get over here! Wanted to kill him to make sure he didn't drop anything. Oh, and now we got Aqua Twin Aquamenti. He's gonna go back and forth with the sword beam. There we go. Got the key, now push the block to get out of here. And now we come back here, and now we can proceed through the locked door to the north. Now we do the level 2 gauntlet. And we got blue gorillas here. So yeah, level 8 is basically a rehash of levels 1 through 7. With a twist. <laughs> Somewhat. Okay, we got another block puzzle. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, we gotta go down here. I wonder how I get to that heart piece. Eh, I'll find out, maybe. Or maybe I won't. Oh, okay, gotta kill the wall masters. Yeah, watch out for the incoming statue fire as you deal with them. Oh, no, you don't. Not knocking me into the hands. And hello, Blue Goma. Oh, damn it. Yeah, as you can see, the arrows shoot like twice as fast now. Alright, it's one shot. Probably gotta hit this thing like seven more times. I think it's like eight hits to get rid of a Blue Goma. I think that hit would have finished it off if I would have got it through, but no. Nope. Ah, crap. Damn, Goma. There we go. Dead got the key. 
And into the warp, and that takes care of level 2 gauntlet. Missed the heart piece, but I don't care. Onward and upward to the level 3 gauntlet. Oh, we got Shell Tribble and Statue Shooters. And 20 rubies, yay! Well, by the time I wrap up level 8, I'll be able to get that fire boomerang, if I keep getting money like that. Super Dark Nuts! Oh, crap. I missed the ladder there. Would've made that any easier, but... Oh, well. Oh, fucking green. Oh, shut up. Come on. Get the heart! Stop it! Okay, done here. Go down. Blue Dark Nuts and Super Dark Nut. Come on, light up with me, sucker! Okay, all done with the Dark Nuts. Go down south, and... Dig Dogger! Whistle time! Yeah, I forgot to stun before bombing, but whatever. All dead. Key. Let's escape. Now, unlock the door to the fourth gauntlet. The level four gauntlet. Oh boy, wizard rope time. And give those Nginis the big fat weedies. Destroy everything. Come here. Alright, I think we're gonna push one of these blocks. Probably this one, that one. There we go. Oh, blue dark nuts and blue wizard ropes. A pretty hellacious combo if I didn't have the red tunic. Or... Yeah. Well, blue tunic, I'd probably still be okay, too, but... Now, if it was mirror robes, eek! But we're not dealing with that, so I'm very thankful. <laughs> Alright, blue wizard robes and blue dark nuts dead. Push block, go up. Now we got some armosis Let's kill them. Come on, get down here. Hey, we get the mirror shield for a prize! That is to epics. Alright, need the wand to hit that reflector. I think that's gonna create a bridge. Yep. I was right. Oh boy, BS Petra boss fight now. Well, BS Patrick's a lot easier with the magic sword. Hack through those kids quickly. Alright, got our key for the level 5 gauntlet. Let's proceed to it. Alright, level 5 gauntlet. Automated traps, dodge them. Next room. Alright, levers. All blue ones. Thank god there's no level 3. Those things would be pretty crazy. They can be wildly unpredictable, where they pop up and everything, and they come at hyper speed. All right, wizard rope pass. I can deal with this. All right, block puzzle again. Ugh. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, that only goes that way, huh? Okay, let's push this one down. Yep. That's how that works. And that one, oh. Um. Uh. I think I did this wrong. Oh, yeah, definitely. Boy, hopefully, this doesn't take me a century to figure out. Okay, let's move this over here. Move this over here, and move this out of the way, and move that up, and there we go. Now we free up this block to go all the way. Alright. Not too bad. Now we go into the warp, and now level three, level five boss, I mean. 
Bomb time! Come on, over here! Alright, sword time! Come on, get over here! Die already! Come on, walk into the sword! There we go. Got the key! Alright, Super Manandela. Ooh, pain in the butt. Locked door. Level 6 gauntlet. We got twitchy twitchies in here, don't we? Yep. Oh god. Uh. Uh, do I want to use Dits Fire? What the hell? Let's use it. Let's give it a use. Totally worth it. And I got magic back. Alright, push this block in. Get out of here. More twitchy twitchy action? No, it's flame rope. Well, the game's being gracious with the magic drops, so I'll take them. Ooh, more money! Yes! Alright, I think I got enough for the fire boomerang. Maybe. Alright, I got blue wizard robes to deal with them. Yeah, with the conveyors, it can be a little tough, but surprisingly, I'm making this room look effortless. Into the warp. And now we got the pitiful flame gliok! Who only sprouts like one flame at a time. I bet UDF was hoping to get this Gliok <laughs> when he actually ran through the game. I got lucky! Only the floating head's really gonna pose an issue for me. As long as I watch it, I should be fine. Got the key! Alright, all done with that fight. Continuing north. Alright. Now it's time for the level 7 gauntlet. Tech tights. Kind of a downgrade in enemies. Well, this water is gonna make it tricky to hit these tech tights. All right. Got Wizard of Bats and it's like no wall masters in here. I guess that's good. Unfortunately, I don't have a stopwatch for this puzzle or for this conveyor maze thingy. I don't want to know how much those spikes are going to hurt, either. Alright, watch it, watch it, watch it. Whew, okay. That could have been bad, but I got through it pretty handily. Come on. Get minced up. Alright, hookshot, where is it? From block to block to block to block. And boss probably, yep. Oh god, Patra 2 again. Not looking forward to this. I forgot if there was a Patra 3 in this game. I don't think there is. And if there is, I probably forgot. Because I haven't played it in a while. Try to conserve this potion, but oh, the statue fire really proving to be a nuisance. Oh. Hey, freaking statue fire! Cut it out. Got a key. All right, Patrick two Slade, and now we're gonna go to through this door. That cloaked figure! It was Ganon. He has Sage Lena and plans to use her to free Yarnok. Please, you must let him escape. This key will open the way to the turret where Ganon has taken Lena. I beg of you, please stop him. Alright, we got some pots to heal up and get some money. Alright. Grab me the key. The boss key. Okay, here we go. Boss door, unlock. And a whole lot of potions. Or rather, um, chars, I mean. I'm in the Twilight Zone, forgive me, folks. I'm tired, I had a long day. Temple turret! Oh, we got a variation of every wizard open here. Well, well, the tough ones, anyway. 
So we got a wind robe, a flame robe, and a bat robe. Okay, murdered all those enemies. Next room. Oh, we got mirror robes. So that's why we have the mirror shield. Oh, 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 that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm in a very precarious position. Oof, oof. Alright. Alright. Oh, damn it, he changed tiles. I was hoping he would have stayed aligned. Oh, there we go. Yeah, mirror robes are way more erratic than the blue ones. Oh, ah, no. Oh, frick. Couldn't get away. Alright. And we got the silver arrows for killing the mirror robes. Okay, that's a f good trade, I guess. Oh god, super darkness! Hammer! Hammer, hammer, hammer! Yeah, just line them up like this and hammer them to hell. Alright, next. Uh-oh. Why do I have a feeling there's a fire Gleok beyond here? Another one, maybe. I don't know. Could be a Patcher 3. Or maybe we're killing Ganon early. I don't know. There's a hole! Ah! Fallen! Link, you follow me here no matter. The power of the lost treasure are mine, and mine alone. I cannot allow you to interfere. Yep. Ganon fight. Boy, Ganon's been reduced to a level 8 boss in this game. That's wild. Let's see if I can sword lock him! Oh, damn, he got away. I got three hits off, at least. Alright. Oh, crap, he got away again. I seriously wonder how those LPers, like, lack attack in them. How they get the stun lock off. I don't think rapidly slashing does it. I think you have to, like, time the regular slash. Oh. Thank God I have the red tunic, otherwise I'd be taking a lot of damage. Come on, get in! Oh, you... Damn it. Well, I'm getting a couple strokes off. Alright, we got him. And boom! Silver arrow to the head! Alright, Ganon dead. It's done? Ganon is defeated? Thank the goddesses. If he had gotten his hands on the treasure of Mystia, the whole world would be in danger. He could talk we could talk more later. Let's get that last element so these events never happen again. Oh, that's a woman voice. Oh sorry about that, Kenster. The text was obstructing Letta. Alright, let's try again. The treasure calls from the Isle of Secrets. If you can find it, supreme power will be yours. But let's hope that treasure stays lost. Okay. We got the final element. Yay! Level 8 complete. Now I gotta go back and buy that boom that fire boomerang. I definitely want to pick that up. Uh-oh! Cutscene time! So the treasure is on the Isle of Secrets. Those fools have led me right to it. But first, let's see what awaits me in the back of this temple. Surely it's something powerful. Oh boy, it's that yucky Yardok. He looks like Aghanim. So this is the being that was sealed here. I, Ganon. Oh wait. I, Ganon, have freed you from your imprisonment. Now you shall join me in my quest for power and conquest. Together, we will rule over Hyrule. I think not. I, Yardok, did not obtain the forbidden dimensional magic to become some power-hungry fool's servant. Uh-oh. Ganon's been betrayed. Well, what is this? I'm being drawn in? You will become a part of me. Fuel for my dimensional magic. None can stand in my way. This world shall meet its end by my hand. Uh-oh. Link, something terrible has happened. Come to the Temple of Secrets as fast as you can. We'll talk there. Alright, well... I got one more thing to do first. Back to the city in the sky. Want that fire boomerang. Need. Want. Want. 
I am not going to forget that weapon. Oh, and I have just enough. Alright, Fire Boomerang is mine. Hooray! Now we're going to go to the Temple of Secrets. I'm wondering if I should buy another potion off camera. I think I will. Alright, let's get out of here. We're done. Okay. Yeah, I can't blow the whistle there, otherwise I'll bring the stairs back again. Alright, Temple of Secrets isn't too far from here, so I can swim. Very catchy music. I'm like, I'm super highly surprised we are almost at the end of this game already. This quest just cruised on by, damn Zora! Don't cut me off when I'm speaking. You're gonna die for that. Oh. I'm gonna pl try to play whack-a-mole with this Zora. There. Leave me alone. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna cut it off here for now, so... Stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda Neverending Fantasy for Zelda Classic Part 9 when we'll enter the Temple of Secrets after I buy a potion off camera so I can get a pink potion. And hopefully the Temple of Secrets will lead us towards level 9 and Yarnok the final boss battle. Anyways, see you then, peoples!